Hello everyone and welcome to Stardew Valley. I'm gonna do a first five approach to this. I won't make it pro well, I don't know if I'll make it an official like like first five approach. But uh, we'll, we're definitely doing a first five approach to this game. This is a game that, living off the land, what? The tip for you, listen up. What does it say? This one's for all you green horns out there. Hold on. Let me talk about this for a second. I bought this game because my family was a little sick and uh, we weren't able to do anything this weekend and my oldest daughter gets a little restless. We like to play games together and do stuff like that on the weekends because I don't get to spend that much time with them. But we saw this and it just came out and I thought, you know, let's give it a go and uh, play around with it. It's pretty fun. It's a little chill, right? Um, some of you may, may not like it. I may not like it that much. I don't know, but I did put quite a few hours in it, and it's been pretty fun. So I think we'll dive into it. I'll do a few episodes, um, see what the response is that everybody has, and we'll kind of go from there. So let's go ahead. I guess you can learn little tips and tricks from the TV every day. This one's for the greenhouse stuff. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some extra cash while waiting on your first harvest. Oh my gosh. So basically... You're playing this darn game, you you leave the city, you go on into the woods, I'm going to cultivate and harvest parsnips. And uh, your goal is to kind of make money, build friendships with the people in town, and go from there. But there's also some adventuring elements and things like that. I have to greet 28 people. I don't do that in real life. I guess I can do it in a video game. Alright, and here's our farm. If we look at our map, this whole place is Ghosty Hills Farm. We have our town over here. There's a there's a mine that we can go on adventure. There's an adventure guild. Uh, there's a bunch of other stuff going on here in the carpenters area. There's a dock. There's some forests. Basically, there's a lot going on. I think it'd be a little bit of fun to play. I made my character have a red shirt because uh, red's one of my favorite colors. Let's go ahead and today I'm probably just going to clear out a bunch of this stuff. There's stuff that's everywhere. I did go through and mess with volume, so hopefully they are on point because uh, before I know that they weren't. I did accidentally just chop down a little sapling to a tree. Ooh, mixed seeds. <clears throat> There's a little bit of everything in here. Plant them and see what grows. So basically those are seeds. You have no idea what they actually are. We need a lot of wood because I finally learned how to craft. If you hit escape and you go in a little hammer, you can craft stuff. And we need a chest right away, which is 50 wood. Now we do have a fit, uh, an energy bar on the right side. Everything that you do pretty much costs energy except for walking. I think walking is the only thing that really kind of doesn't. And you really do have to watch that. If you start to get exhausted, you get some bad things happen. If you don't go home in time before you got to sleep, um, you get charged money for somebody like finding you in the road and picking up your sorry body and actually taking you home. So interesting little, little premise here. Um, cutesy kind of game over here, right? Like I know this is a little different than what I normally do. But it has that Terraria like... Um, I don't know, just fun, fun little 8, 12, 16, whatever bit game kind of feel going on. And I don't know, I kind of I kind of need a little bit of that in my life, right? Like a little, something that's a little bit of fun. Not super, super competitive, not, uh, not crazy, crazy intense, just something to play. And um, I don't know, just have, just have a little fun with it. So this is what we're going to do. If you guys don't like it, let me know in the comments. If, I, if you see a bunch of down votes, then I'll know. Or if, if the comments come out and be like, Night Ghost, nice try, but please don't ever do this again then guess what I'll know. So we're going to clear out this area because we need to plant these parsnips, which means we have to clear out a little bit of area to do that. Now, there are different levels for your weapons, weapons like tools and so on. This, I cannot break. Your axe is not strong enough to break the stump. So there we go. we got to upgrade those with, like, copper at some point. Also, your grandfather's the one that gave you the plot of land. So he plays into this at some point, I think. I think there's like some quests or, or little things that pop up later on down the road that kind of are a nod to you needing to uh, like chat with him. Or, I, I really don't know. I haven't put that much time into it. Just a few hours, just messing around. Mostly, I mess with mechanics. My, my daughter had no idea. I'm just like, oh, we've got to make money. Yeah, she's like, yeah, money is the point of this game. I'm like, it's the point of life, right? Okay, bye. And uh, we figured out a few ways to actually make a little bit of cash. So I'll be able to employ those right away. Well, not right away, but we'll be able to start working on that. And uh, it'll help out. Because I struggled in the beginning. Like, I wasn't making very much money. And it really slows you down. Like, you need that gold. 
that gill or whatever it is. I think it actually, I think they call it gill, like Final Fantasy style. Um, you need that to really get going in this, this whole little world here. Even in video games, it's chasing me, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think I'm going to chop down a bunch of different types of trees right now because I don't want to miss out on getting like pine cones and stuff like that because the different wood is uh, helpful and there's different seeds that draw from it for a reason. Oh, crap. Yeah, oh, dang it, I gotta destroy something. Forget those mixed seeds. Also, the inventory management is, is kind of cruddy at times. Not the best, mostly because I wasn't making a lot of money. And so I was kind of screwing myself over and not finishing up. Uh, I, I just didn't have enough inventory space for a lot of things that I needed. And I was getting slightly frustrated with that. So, um, if we make up enough money, which I started to actually make a bit of money in my previous game playing with the little kiddos, uh, we can buy a bigger backpack and kind of upgrade all that good stuff. So I think what we're going to do... Oh, crap. I just, dang it, I just killed that plant. Um, I think we're going to build... Stone. Let's do a cobblestone path. If you hold down shift, it does five at a time. And I've got these, so let's do ten more. There we go. And I think what I want to do is make a path from this one. Just down here. And then we'll go around and leave a gap for our... our our actual field. Now let me let me think about this for a second. So um, I've got banished on the mind. So there, and then I want to put a fence in between. So boom. Four, five, one, three. There we go. So three times five is fifteen, ladies and gentlemen. Parsnips are helping me to keep my math alive. So you have to actually uh, hoe the earth, and you take the seeds. You can click and hold and move the mouse. But you kind of got to be close to the area for it to actually plant it down. And it'll only plant on the harvest or the hoed area. And then you take your watering can. And I found that if you sit in the middle, you just hold it down and move to the next, and it, it's kind of nice. See, it, this game's kind of relaxing, right? It's like, oh, I'm just, just planting in the garden. Anyway, um, we'll do that. Now, it does take energy every time you plant and every time you use water. Like, I'm down to 36 energy. If I come over here, fill it up. I'm, okay, that didn't take energy. Any energy. That's nice. Anyway, so every, pretty much everything you do requires some form of energy is what I'm getting at. So uh, be careful about that. Oh, I was thinking about just doing the path all along here, but then I can't put a fence. See, I want to do a fence like this. Maybe for now I'll just go along the bottom, and then I can I can fix the other stuff later. There we go. We've got some cobblestone stuff down right there. Um, is there anything else we can currently craft? Wood path. Yeah, yeah, we need lots of wood. We don't have very much energy, so let's chop down maybe like one or two more trees, or maybe just one, actually. It takes a lot of energy to do all that business. It's going to warn me at some point, and we'll go to sleep. Because this first day especially, you kind of got to spend it around the farm. Oh, look at that. 18? 16? You're starting to feel exhausted. All right, let's not push our luck. We're at 12. Let's go take a nap. It's only 2 p.m. We're just tuckered out. Now, if you have food on you, you can eat it, and all food gives you some form of uh, energy and stuff like that. So you don't have to necessarily constantly just sleep. There are ways around that. There are other things you can build up. I didn't learn anything. Usually there's a prompt in the morning that says, Hey, you did so much of foraging, and you've, you've uh, become better at whatever. Anyway, didn't get that yet. Let's see what the tip of the day is. It's going to... Oh, that's the weather. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. That's actually nice, because then we don't have to water everything. Fortune teller. Welcome to Wellwick's Oracle. The only show where your voice... Of, where the voice of the spirits is channeled directly to you. Oh, look at that. That's ridiculous. The spirits are in a good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Uh-huh. Sure. And my horoscope says that my lucky number is like 12. Good for me. Hello there, just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Willie. Alright, Willie. Well, I think I'm going to spend an extra day on the farm. No, you know what? No, I'm not. Let's go down. Let's go talk to Willie. Let's see what the town is so you guys can kind of see, have an idea of what, uh, what that looks like as well. Before we go, though, let's put away the watering can, the scythe, and the hoe. Because we don't need that. But what I am going to do is, uh, yeah, let's get those kind of situated. I don't really need any of this. We're good. Keep our axe on us in case anybody tries any funny business. Which there really isn't combat unless you actually go and do, like, 
areas where you can adventure and whatnot. So here's the path to town. If we go north, there's like a bus stop, which is what we came in on. Which, by the way, I didn't show the intro because the only way to actually adjust the volume of the game is to be in the game. It does not save those changes throughout different save files. And it defaults at ridiculously loud. So there's our quest. But visit the beach um, south of town before 5 p.m. Now here's the kind of general store. There's the doctor's office. What do we have here? This is a This is a calendar. People's birthdays and different events and festivals that are going on. You can give people gifts to kind of help your relationship with them. Oh, this thing's locked till 9 a.m. Come on, people. Go to the program. People are up and chopping down trees and telling Earth right now. Actually, it's just mostly me. There's a cemetery. I think this one right here is the mayor's house. Mayor Lewis. And then south here is the docks. Hopefully, Willie will be out here. If he's not, we could probably look around the, um, the beach. What is this over there? Bubbly bubbly. Alright, so this is a little cutscene where I'm gonna go here and chat with Mr. Steamball Willie. Oh, his, his name is Steamball. Ahoy there, son! Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Willie stopped smoking on his little, you know, bubble producing pipe right now. I'm still trying to unwind from a month out in the salty seas. It's a big haul, sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Yeah. Here. I want you to have my old fishing rod. These people are really nice. They just moved into town. It's important to me that the artificial stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from my shop once in a while. Okay, fair enough. Ta -da! Da -da 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 -da. Okay, we're not doing that. You received bamboo pole, so now I have a whole nother item where I can fish. Get, you get different items from fishing, not just fish, not just food. There's good water here in the valley, all kinds of fish. And let's see. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. Also, I'll buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells, huh? Huh? That's what my old pappy used to say anyways. Well, your pappies look great, great. Alright, so I think I might uh, do a tiny bit of fishing. I won't do a ton. Because it gets a little tedious after a while. You have to sit and wait. Um, I used to play some games with buddies of mine. I was fishing in this, in this MMO. And he would just sit and fish and fish and fish. Oh, I got a hit! Okay, now you have to keep the bar on the fish or below it. Or you're going to start losing. Now, I did notice that... Oh, there are um, like treasure chests you can unearth. unearth. You can get out of the water. But I don't know how to actually grab them yet, so we'll see those uh, as they come up. So a herring, 8 inches in length. See, that gives me 13 energy and 5 health. And the health is for when you actually go out on adventures and mining and stuff like that. But you know what, maybe I'll just do one more cast here. Oh, let's get one more catch. And then I'll go up to the mine and show you guys what I'm talking about when it comes to uh, doing some adventuring. I gotta be quiet. Oh, fish I got a hit! I'm actually getting a little bit better at catching these things. And by a little bit better, I'm just leaving it at the bottom. And... Oh, look at that! Perfect! Does the quality change? Apparently it does. We got a 9-inch herring. Fantastic. Okay, and we could sell the fish to him. But um, I think I'm going to hold on to these. I think you can cook them. You can build a campfire at some point. But we'll just have to see. Can't grab the wormies. Alright, let's go ahead and run back up to the top. There's these little statues. I have no idea what they are, but uh, they do occur. I love the art style here. I can handle this for a little while. You know, I like the, the older school kind of Zelda-esque. The Zelda-ish um, style. There's, there's a dog in there somewhere, apparently. You know, we're supposed to meet and greet people. Let's just say hello. This is Alex. Oh, hey, so you're the new guy here. New guy, huh? Cool. That's all he has to say. You're, you're a a beacon of conversation, friend. Alright, we need to go north up here. Let's go right and go up that path. I still get a little lost, and I played this game for a little while. Of course, you guys know how fantastic I am with directions. That's a big old convenience store. It looks like a very, very corporate store. I think it plays into the story of this game a little bit, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, I'm blocked there. Who's that lady with the red hair? Let's go talk to her. <clears throat> I have a little, uh, little horse there. I've got dry mouth. I'm nervous. I'm nervous to talk to this lady. Hello. It's Robin. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. <laughs> I'm 
my feeling exactly. When you get the quest to just talk to everyone, yeah, can I go and like plant a bunch of things or build a house or fortification or what the crap? That thing was running up the tree. I'm like, I thought it was running right at me. No, it wasn't. Now, as you go through the forest, there are things that you can pick up, but I haven't seen any so far. If we do, I'll grab them. So, Linus, looks like you're wearing a leaf suit. Hello, stranger. Or, hey, stranger. Hello, that's all he has to say. Are we are we getting our people knocked out? There we go. Five out of 28. Perfect. Oh, dude! It's not open yet! Oh, come on. And I can't do anything. Okay. This wasn't here the last time I looked. I didn't know there was like a limit. But you go in here and you actually have to go through certain levels. Or the, a certain amount of levels. And there's like an elevator to the mine shaft. But you know what? I won't talk about that anymore because we're going to see in here in detail at some point. This is the carpenter shop. You can upgrade your house and actually have her come and build other items for you. Which is kind of weird. You don't build everything. You just build some things. Um, and we'll kind of get into all that. As we, as we move along and play along. So we're going to head back into town so that we can get back to our place. If people are here, I'll say hello. See, all right, this guy. This is Mayor Lewis. So how was your first night at the old cottage? <laughs> all right, and then we can introduce ourselves. Welcome to Pierre's. Abigail. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving into that old farm. Nice to meet you. I guess you're Pierre. Welcome, Pierre's. Don't forget to check out my daily wallpaper and floor selection. Holy crap. Can't even handle that business. What we could do is purchase a bunch more seeds and get really um, rocking and rolling on this. But uh, let's see. Potatoes and cauliflower seem to be do a lot. Bean starters are very interesting. You get the pole, and then the pole stays, and you just keep nourishing it. And then it, it doesn't go away. Whereas stuff like parsnips, you pull it out of the ground, you have to replant it. So these are worth a lot more. Um, let's do five. That's gonna that's gonna ding my money pretty heavily. So we're gonna do five. I'm gonna plant those and get those going. They take like 12 days or something. Or how many days did it say? 10 days. 10 days to actually grow, but they tend to be worth quite a bit. Now as we go back to our house, there's this little box to the right of our home that you can just throw stuff in and it'll be purchased the next day. Like a delivery guy comes by, checks your box, gives you money for it. This guy right here. So if I wanted to sell the fish, I would throw them in there. But I think I'm gonna hold off on that for the moment. Let's go ahead and plant, let's see, a hoe and a watering can. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of planting. I think I'm gonna leave a gap. Let's see, can I do that? One, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to try to be even more organized. I wasn't when I was playing on my own game. Um, but I think it'll be more more fun to just stay organized with, with this save moving forward. Oh, have, did I not water these in the morning? Holy crap, I didn't. They won't grow unless you water them. Go figure. So you can't just let them sit there. Now there are sprinklers that you can get, but the first set that I've seen are not the most effective. So I don't know if it's worth the resources. You need like copper and iron and all that good stuff. Okay, so we've planted these. Um, I think we should just be clearing out our land a little bit more. Oh wait, let's... I could do some fishing, but that's kind of boring to watch. So let's put that away. We'll keep the fish on us. Organize, very good. And... Oh, I guess I need my scythe. Don't I? Yep, I do. In case we get into these big old thickets of stuff. There's some big old thickets of stuff here. <laughs> We're going to clean this up. I will just clear out everything near our place. Mixed seeds. Okay, well, we could hold on to those and actually um, you know, plant those and see what pops up. Mixed seeds are, are just that. Like, you don't know what they are, right? They, uh, they're kind of, they're a mixed bag. You don't quite know which ones you get. I guess it's like a, a box of chocolates, right, Forrest? All right. Let's clear off a few more of these. Get some stone. We do need a lot of stone to build fencing. And, uh, and other things too, like uh, eventually we can do a furnace to smelt some metals, but that's a little ways away. We gotta do a lot of work to get up to that point. All right, so, and look, we've got ourselves a little statue. It looks like a little mouse with a blue something or a green something at the bottom there. I don't understand those. If anybody knows in the comments, let me know and uh, I'll, I'll do that. I haven't done any solid research. I tend to, oh, we got a geode. We can take that to a blacksmith in town. 
Local blacksmith can break it open for you. Who knows what might be hidden inside? And there's a whole series of things there where we can we can break those apart, see what they are, and um, learn even more, pretty much, by by giving them to this guy that owns a museum or, or some shenanigans like that. So uh, that'll be interesting to see how much we actually find from that. Wood is pretty big, especially if we want to do fencing and stuff like that, so we need to make sure we get that. And then also the seeds that come off of them are pretty important. You can make some food off of the different variety of seeds that you'll find uh, just around your place. So that's something to keep in mind too. I don't want to chop that tree. So I'm very, very reluctant to get too close because I want to leave the saplings alone. They've already got a head start and I don't have to replant those and, and it's good. It's good stuff. Okay, let's go and chop this bad boy down. I think that's going to be the last thing we do today. I'm running a little low on energy. Yep, getting exhausted. No seeds yet. Okay, fair enough. Let's do 12. Out of, let's see, 12 out of 270. It is 4.50 p.m. It's going to start getting a little bit darker. Um, I could do, real quick, before we go, let's see. Is this going to... Wood fence. 12. Okay, so it doesn't do anything. Okay, so we've got five so far. Let's do... Um, there we go. We'll do 15. And then, should we put those around? Yeah, let's put them around this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we just bring them on down here. I'll have to put a gate in here somewhere. So maybe I'll do... I'll leave a gap here. Then I'll put a gate. Actually, I probably need two gates. You can't walk past these things. They block you because it's a big stick in the ground, you know, for the, uh, for the green beans. Um... Yeah, whatever. You can move them, too, so it's not set in stone. It's it's wood, actually. All right, let's sleep for the night. I want to see if we learn anything first when we sleep through the night. We should, because we did a lot of stuff. And we didn't. All right, we're still dumb as a rock. All right, guys, thanks, everybody, for joining. I'm going to think we'll just cut it off here. Let me guys know. Let, let me know what you think. I don't know if everybody's going to love this. Uh, I might just do this as something fun with the kiddos. I'm not entirely sure. Um, either way, it looks like fun. It's a new game. So thanks everybody for joining. I'll see you guys next time. Later.